This video is about how the sodium potassium pump works. The sodium potassium pump is an active transporter embedded in the plasma membrane that uses one molecule of ATP to pump three molecules of sodium out of the cell and two molecules of potassium into the cell. But how? Here we have the plasma membrane that the sodium potassium pump is embedded in. Over here we have the intracellular side with a high concentration of potassium and the extracellular side which has a high concentration of sodium. The first step in this process is for one molecule of ATP to get phosphorylated to ADP and one phosphate. Following the phosphorylation of ATP to ADP and phosphate, we have three sodium ions being brought from the intracellular side to the pump. These three ions and one phosphate bind to the sodium potassium pump. Once the three sodium ions are bound in the phosphate, this induces conformational changes to the pump. The conformational changes close the pump on the intracellular side and open it on the extracellular side. Now that the pump is open on the extracellular side, these three sodium ions can leave and the two potassium ions can now enter. Following the removal of the three sodium and the attachment of the two potassium, the pump undergoes conformational changes yet again, closing on the extracellular side and opening on the intracellular side back to its original shape. Now that the pump is back in its original shape, the two potassium ions and one phosphate can both leave the pump, both entering the intercellular side, thus enabling another molecule of ATP to bind, exchanging three sodium ions for two potassium ions. 